Hello, it's Colette. Um, I'm here to do with another book review, um, one which I endorse 150% if I could do. It's called The Divine Human and it's by John C. Robinson. Um, a few months ago, I actually did a review, uh, I think it was The Secret, Three Secrets of Aging by the same author. And I couldn't praise it highly enough. I absolutely adored it. It helped me so much with where I was in my own spiritual journey. Um, and I said, if you get one book in the year ahead, in this year, make it this one, The Three Secrets of Aging. So now I'm going to say, if there's two books you should buy this year, make it that one and this one. Because together, the two of them are just amazing, absolutely amazing and can't praise them so highly. Um, the first book that is a review, and I'll try and link it down below, uh, this one is a kind of follow-up on that, although it is a standalone book as well. Um, and it's about being your own divine human. Um, it's aimed at people that are um, growing older, uh, maybe in their 50s, 60s, 70s, um, but like the previous book, The, the Secrets of Aging, um, I think it, it could benefit many people. And one group that I think could benefit from it is maybe people in their 30s and 40s who um, maybe have some sort of illness or some sort of thing that has um, brought their lives sort of in the way of it and that they're maybe struggling with who they are and who they should be and all the things. I think both these books work incredibly well. So they're not just for people over 50 or 60, they're, they're definitely for people who um, have a maturity maybe in their life that is forcing them into what could be more seen as ageing roles. Um, so please, um, I mean, I'm even giving this um, a wee look at to my 23-year-old daughter because uh, the way she thinks and the way she moves forward, there's so many exercises in here that will help. And that's the thing about the book. It's not just chapters to read. Um, there's journaling to do in it. There's exercises. There's things to think of. And you're literally taken by the hand by the author the whole way through it. Um, so what else can I say about this? Um, I've got a few wee notes here because there were things that really, really struck home with me. Basically, we're finding new ways of being and there's there's a scope for spiritual elders now more than any other time. And um, my age group and up and slightly below is, is hopefully taking on that role. Um, I had my own grandmother ceremony um, about three, four years ago now. And this book has helped me formulate where I go after menopause, etc. Uh, and the, the previous book did as well. Um, chapter three was amazing for me. It's uh, it, it was called Dissolving the False self, self. And it actually put into words what I thought and was doing. Um, and one of the things about that was realising the false self, the things that we have taken on as to who we are. You know, are we defining ourselves by an occupation? Are we defining ourselves by who we are in family, what our hobbies are or whatever? And how that is all kind of false, it's, it's on top and should not be used to define us. And I enjoyed that. But a wee funny story, there's a part in this chapter called Activating the Awe Response, A-W-E, and I loved it, I loved it because I, I realised it was what I did a lot anyway. I've always been one to, you know, if there was joy or something there that I've stopped and tried to almost hold it in myself or towards myself so that I could remember it later on. But what when I was meditating on this channel, I had a wee laugh because um, in activating the or response, that takes you to the next level up uh, of consciousness and starts the process to take us into the consciousness situation. And um, I realised, because I'd just uh, done a previous video where I say, or a lot like a w w in quite a Scottish way. You know, if I see um, a wee baby, I get a wee smell of a wee baby's head, I'll be, oh, that's so gorgeous, or oh, would you look at that sky, or oh, just that's gorgeous, and <laughs> realise that that saying oh and and having that understanding of oh my goodness, this is wonderful, this is this is amazing, this is something special. Um, 
that awe for me <laughs> actually stimulates the awe, A-W-E, response. Um, and I find that quite funny with the play between the two different words. Um, the awe response chapter is very important to me. I think it will be very important to people who struggle with getting from one level of consciousness to the next or struggle, maybe it just happens to them, but they want to be able to consciously pull themselves up uh, to the next level. Um, if you can read that chapter particularly and cultivate and awaken the awe response, then things fall into place quite naturally after that. Uh, so I, I did enjoy a lot of chapter three. I enjoyed it all. Uh, some of the chapters of sacred action, how to take that, um, and also sacred activism. And that suited me particularly as well because I think I've become so much more political um, as I've become uh, an elder as such and uh, so much more ready to speak and not be shut up and maybe when I was younger I was still quite political but there were certain situations where I would like oh well for the sake of a job or for the sake of a person's company I'm in I'm not going to say uh, out loud what my beliefs are or whatever uh, and now I really don't care part of being um, past menopause and towards uh, being um, a sort of um, sage or elder is uh, saying what I mean and meaning what I say. So, so that part is certainly my activism. But it does show that activism, spiritual activism, can be many things. It can be as long as it's your true self, as long as it's not based on your false self, then it's fine whether that's writing poetry, whether that's looking after the bigger community, whether that's um, meditating and in some way becoming um, very much uh, a sense of consciousness within yourself and prayer for the, the greater good, then that's a form of activism as well. Um, but the, those chapters I, I thoroughly enjoyed as well. It just is a fantastic book. Um, some people that are struggling with reaching the level of consciousness that they would want, I think would really enjoy and uh, this book, but also really, really benefit from it. And um, certainly if I had to recommend two spiritual books in one year, the two that you that I would recommend that if you had no other money or nothing to get, um, these are the two books I would recommend. And I actually have um, a book out, so I'm actually saying, no, these these need done before my own book. So that's how much I adore them. Um, so the this book, The Divine Human, uh, the author is amazing. He speaks in a manner that makes you feel you just want to go on the journey with them. Um, there's bits of each chapter that refer to th thoughts of his or, or things in, in his own life. And there's also nice little quotes at the start of every chapter that are quite inspirational. But he, he speaks and writes clearly. Uh, he doesn't, he just doesn't come over all guruish. Uh, not in any way, actually, I would say that it's the opposite. It's very much, here's what I think, this is how I'd achieve stuff. Off you go or don't off you go. You know, it, there's no pressure and there's no sort of sense of you must do this or you must do it my way, which I love because um, it's very much, it's not proselytising in any way. It's just showing people, I think a lot um, of older people, who walk the talk or are spiritual, the author is just telling you what you know with a wee bit of a nudge and a wee bit of help to help you be even better than you thought you could be. And that's a wonderful thing. If if John C. Robinson, if that is his gift, if that is his elder talent, uh, that gift of taking people just that wee bit further than they thought they could go themselves, then I think he would be happy with that. That's the type of chap he comes uh, over as. So um, I would like to recommend The Divine Human by John C. Robinson and also um, The Three Secrets of Aging by the same author. But this one is out now and um, it's available everywhere. So um, I would recommend a present to yourself or a present to someone that you maybe know is a wee bit stuck or isn't 
handling the raging or illness well and, and needs a help spiritually to understand where they are and where they can go with it, this is an ideal book. So I, I hope you've liked my wee review. Um, if you do, give me a thumbs up and um, I'll be back uh, in probably another month with another book review. I've got quite a few built up, so, but I will get there. But this one uh, is not going anywhere. This has been kept uh, for me and not loaned out or whatever, um, apart from, you know, people that can read it here. So um, thank you, John C. Robinson, uh, for another fantastic book. Uh, you have helped me so much in this year uh, with your words and with your pointing in the direction that your words take me. So thank you very much. And uh, I hope this book is a fantastic success for you because it, it can help change many people's lives and it can help bring a spiritual happiness and awareness that maybe they couldn't quite get to without your words. So thank you to the author and thank you to you all for watching. Many blessings now. Bye.